Hi everyone, welcome back. In this next video, I'm going to show you how to use an, anim an animation tree as a coordinator for your cutscenes. It's a pretty basic trick, but hopefully some of you find it useful. Let's take a look. The other thing you can do is you can have your animation player be broken up into separate pieces and what's kind of uh, bonkers about it is you can actually use an animation tree to coordinate your entire scene. So you might have you know different animations that have to come after other animations but in order to get to them a certain boolean value has to be true or false. That boolean value can be set by the player. So for example you could have, well, let's just do it. Let's do this. This is clearly not the right one. Um, I forget what the trick here is. I think it's just selecting the correct animation player. And giving it a new state machine. There we go. parameters at the moment except for the playback um, in fact I'm actually going to make this not editable again okay and so what's cool here let me let me actually just show you let me make this instead um, five seconds and we'll go ahead and delete this one end of five seconds take off loop insert a key swap this up to we'll just say point one it's not really a big deal where that is we can make another one instead of default we'll name it next and then we'll take this one and it will be sure one second later we go from point one, key that up here, we'll go to point two, key that. And in fact, I'm going to make this longer because the relative thing there. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say. I'm going to do this. So you might think that doing this makes it pause. And you'd be right. That is exactly what it does. Um, if we take a look, uh, let me actually make my little tree here real quick. Add animation, default, add animation, next. Say that. So what this will do, well, first off, we make this that. Um, so what this will do is it will play this first, and then it will play that at the end of it. So uh, I'm not sure if we actually need, yeah, we shouldn't need this anymore. Let's just try it and see what happens. Looks like it's not moving. Oh, probably because I don't have this active. <laughs> okay, now we see it moving along. Stops for a little bit and then keeps going and then stops again because that's what we told it to do. Now, it may not be great for this one. Um, this may not work at all. I'm going to do a lot longer here and I'm going to change my path just a tiny bit. Move it up towards that. It's actually not exactly what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Basically, I need to be able to see it moving more relatively. 
relatively. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is go back to default. Okay, and you know, that's fine. That's all well and good. Tune in next time when I actually show you some new and interesting track types you might have in the animation player.